Hi everyone, welcome to Metal Headset Collector. This is Carlos. Many friends have been telling me about doing a black metal program, so here is it. Today we're going to check some of black metal albums for my collection. Now, what is the first thing you notice within black metal bands? Yes, the black and white painting on them. This is known as corpse paint. This makeup is usually in black and white colors, but sometimes can add red or other colors. This will rely on the artist. Mostly it is done over the face. It can also be done on other parts as the arms. Now, mentioned before, can add a red color as done as other bands as Gorgoroth and Bloodbat members. This core paint is part of their live performance and album design as theatrical development. It represents darkness, mystical side and death. In the 1970s several bands started using this paint as Keys, Alice Cooper, Arthur Brown and Mephis, for example. But King Diamond has been the one that influenced more black metal bands than any other with his face paint. Many bands of the early Norwegian black metal scene use core paint extensively and influence other bands around the world. So today I will share the following black metal bands. The first one we have is Ancient, melodic black metal from Norway form in 1992, with their album Back to the Land of the Dead released in 2016. Let's take a look at this album. And let's check the bootleg. It's a nice design form with all the storm, black, blue colors, and white. Simple design, but very nice. Now, let's hear an extract of this album called Land of the Dead. Ritualization. Black Death from France formed in 2006 with the album Sacraments 
to the Sounds of the Ages, released in 2017. Let's take a look on this art. Now the booklet, as you can see, is a very nice drawing on it, black and white with gold letters. So let's hear an extract of this album of the following song from Brutalization called Genesis to Your Course. from France. Nice sounds, huh? Now, the third album and band that I have is called Infernal War. This is Brutal Black from Poland, formed in 1997, with their album Axion, released in 2015. Let's take a look on it. It came with a digipack slip case but the album is in your case look at now we look to the album and the booklet This one has a glossy finish on all the booklet. My members. So, as usual, let's hear an extract of this album, the following song from Inferno War called Axiom. Yeah, the light, the dread, obscurity Paris by 
Last Inferno War, a very nice album from them. Now, the last album that I have is for Elder Blood, Symphonic Black Metal from Ukraine, formed in 2011, and their album Mercia from 2016, and let's take a look at it. And let's check the booklet. This one. This band is very, very good band with symphonic sound on every single track. All the lyrics. Pictures, drawings. All the typical black metal paint corpse and design as you can see it. So let's hear an extract of this album with their song Targaryen Sun. different elements including besides of the typical black metal boy sound you know the power of the songs the strength of the music and of course for the symphonic ones you know the surrounding sound that it makes on it now what do you think about course paint Nowadays, is this still something that impacts on the band's presentation? There are bands that stopped wearing this coarse paint, such as Emperor and Satyricon, often telling about a lot of loss of meaning and trendiness due to black metal bands nowadays. So, that's why they stopped using it. Yes, tell me your thoughts on this. What do you think? Write it below in the comments. This is something is always talk about. So we'd like to hear your thoughts on this. So this will be all for today. Hope you enjoy your program and don't forget to subscribe, like, 
and share. Stay safe and see you around.